Hi everybody, welcome back to the show today. So uh, I've decided it's time to make that truck look a little bit more like this truck, as in other than the body style, you know, and the brand in the year. Otherwise, everything's gonna look exactly the same. I decided I don't want the, my friends at the elevator to get confused, because everybody knows this one. Nobody knows that one. So if they just see a blue truck rolling in, they'll be like, hey, it's JT's farm. <laughs> they won't be giving my bean profits to somebody else that I gotta try and hunt down. So I thought since I had him out today, let's see if she'll, uh, let's see if she'll back in the new shop. All right, guys, before I get too crazy pulling this thing in the barn and starting major surgery, I thought it'd be wise. I don't have those days often, but I thought it'd be wise to uh, give it a gentle 3,400 PSI bath and uh, with a little sand and a little degreaser. Just give this thing a good sandblast and power wash. Try to get some of that uh, googly gook off the engine. Not with the sand, but at least with, you know, just the water, if nothing else. But, ooh, we're going to get us a little touch of rain? Nope, I think she all went north. Anyway, never mind that now. If we got some rain, no big deal. Just no big deal. It would just kind of help the process along a little bit here. So, I think what I'm going to do, get my washer fired up. Then, put the sand attachment on. See if I can get this frame and part of this box kind of sandblasted off of here. Meanwhile, the whole time I'll have the engine degreaser in, getting all that stuff off of there. And maybe it'll be a little bit cleaner when I pull it in the shop and I can start working on it. Maybe. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of my goal here. And maybe we'll get a little rain, she's hot. Get the sand in the bucket here. Perfect. Maybe should have put half the bag in looking back on that, but well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Get my super sandblast and attachment on here. Get the water turned on and let's do this. great till it gets water in the hose. Then it works not at all. So it is what it is.
Well, terrific. That side's pretty clean. I really wish my sandblast and sandblaster worked better. It worked before. Oh well. Just can't win them all on Amazon for 25 bucks. Let me go ahead and spin that truck around. I got all the holes I can have here and I want to wash it in this neighborhood. So let me just spin that around and uh, we'll touch the other side up. stuff soaking on that engine while I'm cleaning the rest of that tank off. I say she ain't cleaning up too bad. Uh, I think I got most of the grime off the truck successfully on me. I mean, I know it's hard to tell because we just looked at it. But, and you've been watching the whole process, but it's definitely a lot cleaner. Now I'm going to see if it'll start because I, uh, I sprayed a lot of water up into that engine compartment and I hate doing that. But sometimes you just got to. Well, maybe we'll just let that ignition system dry out a little bit. I'm sure that'll fix it. Well, there guys, I got her all blow dried. Hopefully, it's still a little bit wet, but I think it's gonna... Been sitting here cooking in the sun for a few minutes. Let's just... I had to move it out of the way with my tractor because I had another project roll in here. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll have to guess, but it'll be fun. Bingo. All right, let's get this thing. Uh, oh, almost showed what I had showed up there. Let's get this thing in the shop here. I think that'll work out just fine, my friends. I uh, don't think lengthwise I could have built this barn any shorter. I think it's just about perfect. I'd have to move my easy chair, but I got enough room to walk all the way around it now. Don't worry about that smoke. That's burning off the engine from all that uh, degreaser. That's not actual exhaust. But I got enough room here now so I can work around it, get the hood and the doors off, Start the fun stuff. Maybe I'll let that burn off for just a minute. There, guys. Well, now that everything's all settled down and nice and quiet, that truck cleaned up pretty, pretty darn good. Now I got a few things I've got to do here. Um, oh, that's gonna slam shut. Let me just. It's getting breezy out here again. But 
nevertheless, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. Like I, I don't know if I'd mentioned this before, but what I wanna do, I gotta get both doors off the truck. This one needs a little work on the inside and uh, they both have the bottom getting a little ripe. So I'm gonna probably cut this out about here and just weld a small piece of metal in. Just that'll fix that problem. No big deal, doors will be good. Um, once the once everything's off, I'm gonna have to paint the door jams because this truck's going to be blue just like my other one, so that way everything matches. But it'll be nice if all this stuff kind of matches. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna do it anyway. After that, see, I think, uh, and this is where I'm, I'm unsure. I'd like to get the cab painted first. Cab front end, everything, get all that painted up first. Then I'll worry about getting the frame painted black and I'll go to Tractor Supply, get me a gallon of International Red and just spray this box real quick. I figure it's a lot easier for me to throw a couple sheets over the cab than it is to throw a whole, than to throw everything from Bed Bath & Beyond over that to cover that up so I don't paint it blue. But I think that's, that's going to be what I'm going to do here. Easy enough to get this off. Looks like I can pull a pin on either side. I might have to pull that to get that ground off, but this, yeah, just zip tie, unplug that, easy peasy. Come on over to the back side here, same thing. I got this mystery blue wire that's just going up in here. I think I'll just cut it right here. I can put a butt connector on it later on. Pull the pin. I got to unbolt these straps here. Bring the old forklift around and just pick that hood right up off there and just set it aside for now. I'll get to it soon enough, but for now I'll just get it out of the way so I can work on the task at hand here. Something tells me my daughter snuck in here and left me a picture. <laughs> what a kid. Got this mystery wire that goes nowhere and doesn't hook to anything, so... I'll just delete that wire. Zip tie. That one can stay. Unplug that. You thought I was asking for someone's firstborn just to get this out of here. What? Just. What else do we got here? Well, let's see how much of a fight these are. How am I even gonna? Okay, let's see if I can do this the right way and bash my thumb all in like I did working on a combine there a couple weeks ago. Okay, well, that's a no-go. How about these, please? Do those unscrew? Those? Try this one. Ah, fingers. So, maybe I'll be taking these bolts out of here instead. Well, I got two out. The other two are just spinning hopelessly in there. Sure love a good carriage bolt that doesn't carriage any longer. <laughs> I don't know why it always has to come to this, guys, but it indeed always has to come to this. My polite way of telling these bolts that I wasn't asking anymore. I guess the nice thing about this guys is that's a plastic or fiberglass or whatever, probably plastic. I can't put dents in it. Now 
know what? I just happen to have a better idea. I mean, not much for thinking, but I know that that goes a long ways up, and that stops right about there. I got a little hill and no brakes on my foot. Why don't I just pull the truck out uh, where it's flat and just lift the hood off from there? Does, does that not make more sense to you? It makes more sense to me. Let's do that. I'll find something. Guys, that's a surprising amount of work to get these doors off. Almost makes me wonder if Ford helped them guys put these trucks together because <laughs> never mind. Well guys, I'm whipped. It's hot. These mountains are blue. This truck's been kind of fighting me all day. So I'm gonna just walk away from it for right now. I got one door off. I gotta battle a bunch of bolts to get that door off. And then I'll be sitting more pretty than I am now. But on that note, my friends, thanks for watching all around the farm with me today. This is gonna be awesome when we get her done. I'll see you next time.